Good morning. Welcome to 7 for 7. Let's go to the throne. Heavenly Father, Lord, we, we praise you. We magnify you, Lord. We give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise. We thank you, Lord, for who you are and what you're doing. Now, Lord, take control. Give us, Lord, thoughts to ponder, words to live by. Give us direction. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, good morning. I want to welcome you guys to 7 for 7. And, you know, I want to talk to you. You know, the Lord has given us power to fight and to resist the devil. And we don't have to uh, succumb, you know, to the pressure of the devil. Go with me to... Proverbs, the 15th chapter, and the 24th verse. It says, the path of life of the prudent lifts them progressively upward, delivering them from the death spiral that keeps tugging them downward. Hmm? The path of life progressively, good, better, best, right? We hear that term, and I've used that term in the past, and, and you know, um, oftentimes, you know, we just settle for good because we're not willing to put the work in for the better. And if we're not willing to put the work in for the better, we will not get the best. You know, and sometimes what we see is um, we see people who are doing good, and, and we want the good. We think that that's the standard. Or we see people who are doing better or best, and we just think that that's out of our range or out of our reach. But I want you to know that God has something for you. You see, we need to know that God has an expectation for us to live better, to do better. In life, when we begin our life, we all have an expectation of of. of, of rosy-eyed glasses, and yet we lose that along the way. But we begin this life with this expectation of the best or living, you know, high. And then, you know, we take some not, some bumps and some lumps along the way. And each time you do, if you're not careful, you begin to lower your expectation because you're afraid of failure. You're afraid of disappointment. And so instead of setting your sights high and aiming for the sky, you just set your sights on something you know you can hit. But the challenge is, is that can you choose to really do better than you're doing? Knowing that God wants you to do better. One, because when you do better, he gets the glory. Two, he's a loving father and he wants to bless you. Amen. He wants to bless you. God's got wonderful uh, plans for our life. God wants us to have dominion. Are there things in your life that you do not have dominion over? Meaning things that you should have control over or things that you, you know, and yet, and yet it, it's just out of your reach. See, God gives us what power that power, you know, can break up into two different veins if you will, in the Greek, there is exousia, which is authority, and dunamis, which is uh, the explosive power. But God has given us this exousia, but many times, rather than operating in this exousia, we don't do it. God gives us power, if you will, to a trample over everything the devil puts in your path. But sometimes we're just too weary to keep fighting, and you decide to do what? <clears throat> Coexist instead of fighting forward. I need you to get back to the place that you stop trying to coexist with the devil. You're trying to stop, you need to stop trying to coexist with something that means you harm because you don't like the fight. You don't like the, the effort that you have to exert.
But let me tell you something. It's worth you being free. It's worth you having peace of mind. It's worth you getting to the place that God would move on your behalf. Amen. God, God gives us the power to defeat the devil. Amen. And, and the battlefield for us defeating the devil is in our soul, our mind, and our emotion. See, but this is where the problem is, in our mind. So the devil tries to what? Mess up our mind. Right? The devil tries to mess up our thoughts or cloud our thoughts. But God has given us the power to defeat the enemy. And we defeat the enemy by renewing our mind really taking time to get in the word, really taking the time to press in, really taking the time to hear from God and let God have his way. We must choose, you know, you know, there, there's a thing called the snake line, right? And the snake line is, is that there's a line above where the snakes cannot go. But too many people flirt with that line. You know, uh, but God creates a line where the devil can't go. It's like, it's like, it's like, you know, there's a line in the sand. And we're saying, look, you know, we're not going to cross over. and We're not going to let the devil come over. Right. And when we do that, God begins to move. You see, God has a destiny that he has ordained for us. And we must begin to, 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 to move towards that stardom. We must begin to move towards living above. We must move to, to victory. And it comes down to you just transforming your thinking, beginning to, to, beginning to believe that God wants the best for you. And beginning to see that the areas that you've settled. And if there's areas where you've settled, guess what? Come to the place where it's like, okay, I'm not going to settle no more. What are the areas that you compromised in your life? What are the areas that you just said, okay. See, because like even with your health, you could go through a health crisis that, that diminishes your health. And if you don't fight to get back to the place of good health, you will begin to allow that, 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 that less mobility, that less um, freedom that you had to become the norm. And God doesn't want that to be your norm. But God wants you to say, I am going to fight for what God has given. And by his stripes, you are healed. He wants you to say, I can live above and not beneath me, the head and not the tail, the lender and not the borrower. But how many of us have just lived, lived and not even tried to live above? Because we're just happy to make it. Well, I'll see you next time for 7 for 7. Let God renew your mind. Get in the word. Let God encourage you to move forward. Be blessed. Have, see you next time.